Hey guys, Dr. Katie here with your health snippet right here on Hey Doc. Guys, we all know how important this icon is. So remember to smash the like button and to subscribe. This all helps in allowing more people to come across this important medical content and to allow us to grow this health community known as Hey Doc. So thank you as you do so. I've had patients ask me, Dr. Katie, is the human papilloma virus the same as herpes? The answer is no. Though they're both sexually transmitted viruses, they present in totally different ways. So, because I have already made a video about the human papilloma virus, let's start with herpes. There are two different types of herpes. Herpes simplex one and herpes simplex two. Herpes simplex one is characterized by the common cold sores that many people get around their mouth and the lip area. It can sometimes occur in the genital area, that is when the mouth of an infected person comes into contact with a genital area. Herpes simplex 2 presents with the characteristics of painful blisters in the genital area. Both types are highly contagious and can be transmitted through direct contact with an infected person's skin, saliva, or genital secretions. The virus can be transmitted even when there are no visible symptoms. This is because the virus sheds even when there are no symptoms. No, there is no cure for herpes. However, antiviral medications help both in managing and reducing the frequency and the severity of the outbreak. Now, if you are someone who has been diagnosed with genital herpes, it is imperative that you practice safe sex. This is because it helps to reduce the transmission of the condition, but it also allows the person that you are going to sleep with to make an informed decision about whether or not they want to be sexually intimate with you. Now, back to the question that my patients often ask me. The difference between the human papilloma virus, otherwise known as HPV, and herpes. With herpes, although it is a lifelong condition and that the only way to avoid it is through practicing safe sex, coupled with the fact that there are no cures for it, herpes does not cause any life-threatening complications. If you suspect that you may have herpes or you want to find out if you are a carrier that doesn't have any symptoms, you should see your doctor to get a blood test that will give you an answer in no time. That's it for this health snippet. Do remember to smash the like button and to subscribe and we'll see you in our next video.